What's going on Taurus? I hope you are very well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for January 2022. So in this reading we're going to focus on your overall energy for the month ahead. We're going to focus on what you don't see coming for the month ahead as well and then finally we're going to close off with some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides for the month. So uh, you are most definitely very welcome here in this space with me, Taurus, as we move through the reading. Thanks a lot for taking the time to check out the reading. I do really appreciate that. Um, if you find that it resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me as well. I would really appreciate that too. So um, yeah, without further ado, what would you like Taurus to know, Spirit, about January 2022? Let's go ahead and pull the energy for you, Taurus. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Taurus. Okay, let's see what wants to come through for you here, Taurus. All right, we got the Devil, Magician, Eight of Pentacles. All right, let's just make sure all these cards are in view for you here. Um, I feel like some of you guys might want to switch your job up. Like just as like a general overview thing that's coming through very strongly. I feel like a lot of you guys like it's almost like you guys thought that you you thought you found the career that's for you, and I feel like you still want the same career. But I feel like a lot of you guys are just sick of your current position in your occupation or something like that. Um, it could be starting to tear you up a little bit, guys. So let's just start off here in your overall energy. We have the devil, the emperor, and the eight of pentacles here in your uh, overall energy for uh, January. And so I feel like you guys are, some of you might enjoy your work. On one hand, I feel like you guys really enjoy your work. You know, you guys are stepping up as a leader. The emperor card is here. So a lot of you guys um, could be enjoying your work, your own power. Now, for some of you out there that are in a relationship, uh, certainly you could be in a relationship with some sort of narcissist, right? The devil to the emperor for some of you, Taurus. This definitely represents an overbearing masculine figure in your life. This could be even a boss at work for some of you, right? The emperor into the, into the devil here. Um, so you may be dealing with a very overbearing boss or partner or something like that, parental, some sort of authority figure in your life. For others of you, though, I do feel like you're you're get, starting to get tired of your work. It's just the first thing that came through for some of you. Like, It's almost like you don't want to stay where you are. You're probably making good money, right? You're being very productive. You're very disciplined for a lot of you, but it's just not doing it for you anymore. So there could be some sort of shift in that or like some sort of promotion. For a lot of you, if you've been really wanting a promotion, I do feel like it's going to come in for you here. So we're going to have to clarify that in a second, but we move down here to what you don't see coming this month. And we have the six of wands, the king of cups, and also the lovers. Okay. So I do feel like whatever you guys are worried about when it comes to money, how you make your money, for those of you not satisfied with your work, I see you getting a promotion or getting the idea to leave. You know, this is some sort of public recognition here. Also, for those of you dealing with a difficult boss, and if you're dealing with this this devil emperor figure, this overbearing person, and a lot of people are aware of the fact that you're being abused, right? This could be a subtle thing for a lot of you. Like there's just someone in your life who like they get to like bad mouth you or like they get away with things that like normally you wouldn't let people i sense you guys have strong integrity there's going to be a, a group of people that like witness the crumbling of someone's 
like power over you so you guys this is like a win in your in your social circle but it's a very big spiritual win as well it's like petty because it's the six of wands where we're dealing with two major arcanas so i almost think like for some of you i know this is maybe off track for some of you but for some of you like you're gonna take the air out of someone's tire who's like been burning a lot of people right picture like a car driving down the street it's like this nice car that like destroys people somehow you just poke air poke a hole in that tire and, and they need a spare tire so like there's some sort of small victory here for you um there's definitely an emotional victory because you have the king of cups as the centerpiece to your reading for january so this is for what you don't see coming remember this row so this says uh you're going to be willing to like feel into a lot of different frequencies that other people wouldn't be able to and still be okay with it. You know, very depth of feeling. For some of you, um, there could be a king of cups entering your life. So for, the, so for some of you in that abusive relationship, there is someone here to balance you out, right? King of cups to the lovers is very different than the emperor to the devil. So I do feel like, especially for you ladies out there, like there might be a King of Cups coming in for you this month in love um, to kind of, even if you're not in a relationship, if this is a boss at work, there's some sort of masculine figure that's going to come in to kind of help you alleviate the problem with the other masculine figure. Now that's just for some of you, okay? But it is something I sense. I do see love, like unexpected love coming in for you. Uh, this month okay so whether you're in this abusive relationship that's ending or you're just single you know i do see a king of cups coming in for a lot of you so we're gonna have to clarify in a second but it looks really good for love um you know let's see though we move down here to the advice and messages from your spirit guides and we have the ace of swords the seven of swords to the chariot all right so this is definitely the energy the, since it's coming out in the advice position, spirit is giving you the go ahead to cut yourself loose from this uh, overbearing figure. So this could be a boss at work that just toys with your hours or like overbearing partner. Spirit is saying to cut yourself free and freaking run away. They're saying to be a little bit crazy. Like I don't, I don't encourage like irresponsible behavior or anything that's going to harm someone else but there's something that you have to do to escape the devil emperor energy this is like you embodying the emperor energy these two cards so whatever that devil is in your life it could just be a bad habit or for a lot of you i'm getting it's a person there's something there's a hard uh there's a hard break that needs to happen here and then once that happens you're off to the races with the chariot Okay, the chariot here is the advice. This is forward moving energy, you know, being relentless in your pursuit of your desire, whatever you want. If that's love for a lot of you, spirit is saying move towards it here, right? The, the chips are on the table. Six of wands, knight of uh, king of cups, lovers. Man, this is a turnaround after adversity. This is a deep turnaround after adversity. Um, the chariot also indicates using technology and kind of like being knowing when to move forward and to stop like when you have a freedom of movement you're also divinely protected so i do feel like this love for whatever it is for you taurus this lover sorry if i've been saying capricorn by the way this is clearly for taurus um this lover whoever this lover is you're divinely protected to be with this person this co person could be coming in to protect you from the harsh working or love situation that you currently got going on taurus um yeah sorry if i've been saying capricorn i think i have been um but either way it looks really good for you this month taurus it really does um just a few kinks to work out with this devil and the emperor for the, for a lot of you but there's victory there's winning you know and it's action-packed like you're going to be moving about doing a lot of stuff this is not very introverted at all for you this month you know this is this energy here this spread is literally looking like it's like a freaking action movie you know what i'm saying like this is action movie so treat yourself like you're in a movie it looks like it from your spread that you are in one this month so let's go ahead and clarify mr devil over here what is this devil going on in your life here uh, taurus why is this here in your overall energy some of you once again feeling like you really need to switch up your career just like out and it's almost like out of the blue you're like i gotta let this go i gotta do something new for a lot of you i sense why is this devil here for taurus okay yeah so there's a burden that you have to release it's very clear you have the burden card here guys burden right so 
Um, it's time to cut this burden out of your life with the Ace of Swords. The advice from your spirit is the Ace of Swords here. Like literally, like this is the energy of like run away from your problems and there's a new lover, there's new victory coming for you. So you got to release the burden, okay? This card literally says like in the booklet, um, you know, since, you know, since this is actually the devil card, guys, I'm going to do something that I never usually do. I'm going to go into the guidebook and actually read the advice to this card for you. Um, the bird. Okay, so let's read the main message here uh, from this little booklet for you. This uh, card is all about if life these days feels like just a struggle from the cradle to the grave, it could be time to shrug your shoulders and see what it feels like to walk without these characters on your back. You have your own mountains to conquer, your own dreams to fulfill, but you will never have the energy to pursue them unless you release yourself from all the expectations you've gathered from others but now think are your own. Chances are they only exist in your mind, but that doesn't mean they, can weigh you, they can't weigh you down. It's time to lighten up and send, send them on their way. Okay, so yeah, you guys are living, um, you're letting someone control your inner state here. It's time to let go of what this devil thinks about you. This could be like thinking that you have to live where you're living, thinking that you have to stay with someone. You really don't. It's time to shrug your shoulders and be like the chariot moving away from that devil energy okay so i hope you enjoyed that little thing um let's keep it going though let's also clarify this uh this emperor card for you here taurus Why is this Emperor card here for a Taurus? Okay, we have the healing card. So yeah, what's going on here is you guys are learning to heal your masculine side, to really like learn to set boundaries with other people who come too close to you. Um, this is you learning to say no. The power of that you're gonna have is to cut yourself free to be very bold and assertive this month with what your boundaries are, what you expect of other people. So this is your healing, you know, tapping into your own masculine energy. For some of you walking away from that masculine energy is going to be your healing this month, okay? And keep working hard, but some of you also may have to be bold and change careers, right? You have this chariot, ace of swords, that's changing energy. So just be aware of that. Um, so let's move down here to... Um, what you don't see coming. Let's go ahead and clarify this six of wands. Why is this here for you? Why is this six of wands here for Taurus? Okay, the six of wands is clarified by the moment to moment card okay so this is you guys living a free life it's definitely breaking away into more freedom i sense okay so um your victory may be a little bit small right we have the number two there so once again remember what i was saying about that small victory over this burden you know if this is an inner turmoil or it's an outer person bothering you this is going to be a small victory over it okay so you know, be, be open, you know, your victory. I feel like you guys are on a good luck wave right now. Like you're on a wave of good fortune. So keep riding. Like this says, keep skipping along, you know, be playful with life. Um, two of pentacles, you may have to like juggle, like be very receptive and intuitive as you move forward here. Okay. Just be aware of that. Um, now we also have this, let's go ahead and clarify this lover's card for you. Why is this here in your reading? Tell me more about this lover's card for Taurus. Okay, this lover's card um, is clarified by the king of uh, wands here, the creator card. So 
this is uh i feel like this is this is super powerful energy i feel like this is you manifesting a lover this month right the creator is all about tapping into um that very like that sun that powerful solar plexus energy and um this also could be someone that you have children with i'm not even kidding right the creator whenever you see like look at this beautiful lovers card right and then you have the creator you guys may actually you may meet someone this month where you make children with like i'm not even kidding like i know that sounds like a little bit uh wild but like that is a possibility for you guys for sure if you ride that wave because you're it's looking really good for you this month um I like what I see, like stand up to that. Like this is also being creative about how to manifest a lover, right? So that might just be a little like tip from spirit. Once again, this isn't gonna come to you unless you break free from that devil. Bad habit, bad way of thinking, job that you don't like, person you don't like, different thing for different people, but you gotta break away from it. That's when this creative love, this is just creativity in ge general, right? This is love for yourself, um, love, love for life in general. And oh my God, we have the lovers popping out as I'm ranting. Um, so we can't ignore that. We're going to leave that out. Lovers again. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, this is someone coming in for you unexpectedly. Only after you cut this out. I know I keep repeating myself. Let's go ahead and clarify though. Uh, let's clarify this um, Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords doing here for Taurus? Okay, the Ace of Swords is clarified by the going with the flow. And this just tells me, you know, whatever you're letting go of, you're embracing your more, your more masculine energy, cutting something off. This is totally in your flow. It's just like that moment to moment card, you know? You are totally in alignment with the universe this month. So if it seems like things are falling apart for you, know that you're actually where you need to be, right? This is the Ace of Cups to clarify an Ace. So whenever you have two Aces, it's all about new beginnings, new beginnings in love and mental powers as well, being like that, uh, that empty emperor, very masculine, uh, very mentally powerful energy, logically kind of thing. Um, so going with the flow, I feel like you're in your flow here, right? You're exactly where you need to be. Even though you're fighting a devil this month, you're letting it go. Okay. Let's also clarify the seven of swords though, because this is pretty critical. You know, why is the seven of swords here for Taurus? Oh my gosh. We almost lost the whole deck. That's a little bit too many to clarify here, Taurus. So I'm not going to take those, um, but let's get the cards back in order here. All right. Well, let's see what wants to come through for the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Taurus? I cannot shuffle right now. Okay, the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Ripeness card. Okay, so if you ever thought about doing something a little bit outside of your comfort zone to get where you need to go, now would be a good time to do that. Okay, this is the Nine of Pentacles. Um, this could be something that you have to do for your own physical well-being, like moving, like just really breaking away from a job or a person that's abusing you, right? Moving into this new love energy, this new flow that you have going on. So you're ripe for change. It's almost like you couldn't stay there, you know, but you're definitely like whatever move you're going to make with this ace of swords to go into your flow, it's, it's in alignment. Do it. The universe says, you know, definitely. Okay. Let's also just clarify this chariot. This will give us more information. Um, why is this chariot card here for Taurus in the advice position? Let's see. This just says move fast away from the burden. In my readings, the first card is very intimately connected with the last card. So move away from the burden. <laughs> really? I, I literally had to like, I could, I could come on here in two sentences for your reading this, this week, Taurus. I could just say move away from the burden you have a new lover coming on. You're in your flow. That's really three, but whatever. Okay, but why is this chariot card here for Taurus? Tell 
two jumpers. Inner voice and clinging to the past. Okay, so this says get the hell away from clinging to the past. Listen to your inner voice. Okay, so this burden is now in the past. It's going to be healing for you to move away from the past. Even if you have to cut the past off with a sharp blade, this is your advice position. Very strong cards for the advice from spirit. This is like, this is hit, hit him and like, this is just like some savage energy that your spirit guides are putting in here. So make sure that you also listen to your inner voice and always remain you know, respectful of the free will of others. Don't do anything shady, you know, but your spirit guides in the most polite way possible are saying, break free from the past, please, Taurus. And that's how your new love comes in and all that good stuff. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, uh, Taurus. If you did and you want more information on your situation, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You could find the information on that in the description box of this video. It would be such a pleasure to work with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. It always is. But either way, I wish you well. I wish you a good January 2022. And I will talk to you guys on your next reading. This is the Autistic Mystic. Peace.